Oh. Let's give it a go. Ready when you are. The idea from the ballad started when I was a schoolboy, and uh, in those days after school, me and my friends would go into Hebden Bridge Library, supposedly to do our homework. And one of my friends mentioned a book called The Who's Who. So I had a look in the book and found quite an interesting story about a chap called Johnny Armstrong, who was a reaver in the borderlands and who'd evidently been hung by the King of Scotland, James V at the time, in 1530. Smiling. Are we smiling or unsmiling? What about? Three, two, one. James V was only 18 at the time. The young king was only 18. He realised that the clans were getting too powerful. So he came down to sort it out. Which led to him uh, to, to the story in the ballad where he offered to meet Johnny Armstrong and his clan. Uh, they all turned up in good faith with no arms and he turned against them, the king, and, and hung, I think, 30 of them from a tree, or from various trees in the area. I also found out that there was a ballad written about uh, the event. I found a copy of the words of the ballad. I decided to put some chords and a melody to it myself, Cut a few verses out, which is quite a long story. Edited it down a little bit to a more manageable size and started singing it with the guitar backing. So we got the band together? Yeah, yeah, I looked round for some suitable musicians, both in musical ability and appearance, because I wanted the story to look reasonably authentic in, in that the video would look like it may be taking place in the, the time in the 16th century. Don't speak of law. We filmed the band at a suitable location in Tolbadin and then Tom and Matt Williams, a sound engineer, uh, we drove up to Scotland to some of the sites. Here now, and five miles away, we've got Langholm, where the ladies hung out the lock window. Yeah, there's a little green there. And then up here, another 10 12 miles, Carlin Rig, where he was hung over this mountain pass, which is real reaving country. Hello, beautiful. Do you mind me filming? Would you mind running around for us? Back through Littlesdale, which is where the Armstrongs used to live. So a bit of a circular route, you see. I'm not going to feel at home here, I know that. Do you want to go on that swing? When the King of Scotland needed some help fighting the English, it maybe enlist the help of the border clans. They were mercenary soldiers, really. It was said they rode, rode around with a, an English and a Scottish flag in their saddlebag. So, whoever it was convenient to help, if the English came, they got the English flag up. If the Scots came, they got the Scottish flag up. We went to a Gilnocky Tower the Armstrong ancestral home. Got a very nice reception. Uh, people there, very friendly, very helpful. They were interested in what we were doing. Uh, they made the place available so we could walk around, take a few pictures. 16th century leg iron. How many tree back to where? 1705.
And we did a little bit of filming outside the castle. Do you want me to just keep in this position? Yeah, if you can. Okay. And then we drove down to a uh, Carlin rig where Johnny was hung in 1530. He was popular locally. He was as good a chief as ever was upon the borders, he says. Is that the stone? Yep. Yeah, they threw them all into a pit there. And that was quite an emotional uh, uh, experience, being in the same place where it had all happened. Well, I reckon the farmer found a stone and they dug it up and found 30 unmarked graves. Well, that, that, that would be here, where they found it. But uh, I won't mind getting to that tree somehow. There's a path there, look, there's sort of a path. Yeah, I don't think we could just climb over this fence, could we? When the Scottish King came back to fight the English, yeah. none of the locals had helped him because of what he did here. And he'd suffered his biggest defeat, defeated by a thousand Englishmen. Some say Johnny Armstrong had his revenge. You'll find this stone in the, in the graveyard here, look. That's where I put my father's ashes, I think, on that one. Sort of briskly or to walk down the middle of the road where like that where that arrow is. You ready? Yep. A little bit further. And cut. You good John? Can't hear me. Anyway. No, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> it's gonna go. What's this racetrack doing here? Right, left. Right, again. right, go for it. Right, can we get a shot of it without them fences in the way? By chance, one day I bumped into uh, I bumped into you when I was walking down top round Tobin with my guitar. I believe I was with Dan, the violin player. I remember it's been a cold winter's day. We were strumming away for half an hour, singing some songs. Afterwards, you uh, mentioned that you were making videos, and uh, I've got any ideas for a video. So a little bell went off in my head. Uh, ballad of Johnny Armstrong. That'd make a good uh, make a good story. This is proper raving country now. The rest is history, as you say.